Hey guys, so today's video is a little bit different. I met back with my old mentor, Hugh Kawabe, and we talked and chat a little bit about the exclusive lead system that we've set up for financial advisors. Um, this is a guy who was really a mentor to me when I first started doing advertising and lead gen online. And uh, he kind of taught me a lot of the things that I know today. He has his own company. He's shifted from doing lead gen uh, for other businesses to lead gen for his own personal roofing company, uh, as well as a couple other roofing companies in his local area as well. So he's still very active in lead gen and uses it for his business. But uh, yeah, I wanted to get my mentor's thoughts on the new service that we're bringing to financial advisors. And uh, without further ado, here's what he thought. So hello everyone. I'm here today with yet another video. And I brought back my old mentor, the legend, Hugh Kawabe, my favorite Australian. <laughs> um, so Hugh and I met a while ago when I was first getting started in the lead generation game. Uh, I was a part of a program where I met Hugh. Uh, he was my mentor, still kind of is, and a guy that I definitely look up to when it comes to business, a guy who really kind of helped get me to where I am today. So I guess, Hugh, why don't you kind of introduce yourself and kind of give a little bit about your experience when it comes to lead generation and advertising for the people watching at home. Yeah, so I have been doing digital marketing now for probably the past maybe three, four years. Um, and it all started with me being an account manager and then kind of transitioning into learning you know, proper lead generation strategies and starting my own website development company. And then therefore from there going on to uh, a public digital marketing agency and that's kind of where i met john and uh we kind of you know kept on talking and it's uh cool to see what you've been able to achieve now man from uh from where you were a few years back but yeah basically from there i started working with roofers and i decided you know what i'm gonna start my own roofing business so now i generate my own leads for roofing and uh get my own jobs that way as well and uh kind of suits my lifestyle now i'm uh i was glued to the the computer screen for a very long time and I kind of wanted to switch up. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm glad digital marketing kind of helped me make that switch. Yeah, man. So you, well, obviously lead generation is a very big part of your business. Then do you want to kind of explain uh, what your lead generation kind of system looks like, what you do? Cause you definitely, you know, we serve financial advisors, obviously you do roofing, but it's still a very interesting kind of process how you generate leads. So I'm just wondering if you could kind of give us that. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, we started initially doing Google ads and that worked for a bit, but the leads were like ridiculous. So like above a hundred dollars per lead. So then we looked at Facebook because Facebook is kind of what we initially started with and we didn't get results straight away. Really? Um, I worked with uh, a roofer and it took me about, probably about five, six months to actually get in results. And so when we started our own business, we, we started with Google and then we went with Facebook and Facebook is ultimately what kind of really helped us get our initial leads and for cheap as well. We're getting leads sometimes for like less than like $15 and good leads. Um, we realized that there was a bit of a cap with Facebook though. And that's why we kind of like went with Google and we tried other avenues, but we, uh, we ended up just keep, keep on going with Facebook, trying different strategies, posting new videos and stuff like that. And eventually now it's come to a point where we've created like this strategy where we just put ads in rotation, video ads in rotation in different areas. And that seems to be working and it's been working for the past probably year. So hopefully it continues, but if not, we'll just have a look for another now avenue in our digital marketing. So you would say lead generation is kind of almost at the core of your business really, because that's where you're getting, I, I don't I don't really even know, is that where you're getting 100% of your prospects, 20%, 50, like? It's probably a high 90%. We do get uh, referrals uh, and, you know, obviously there's word of mouth traffic. Uh, we put, like sign posters at every single job. So, you know, people who walk past neighbors, they always look at the the job and then they look, you know, at the poster. Um, and sometimes we get phone calls that way. Um, but yeah, I would say 90, 95% come from Facebook. Got it. And those wouldn't have even been put up in the first place if you hadn't have generated those leads. So guys, yeah. you started basically a whole business from the ground up solely with lead generation and using that, um tool to promote him to get his services out there and now you're at a point here where i'm assuming you've been able to at least scale down a little bit of the spend on your lead gen ads 
And probably if you stop running for a month or two, it wouldn't matter so much because you have the word of mouth and everything built up just from doing this all locally in your area with lead gen, right? Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's it's a bit of an interesting situation right now because basically I work with my father who's been uh, in roofing for probably the past 25 years. So not only are we generating leads for just myself, but we're generating leads for about three to four other roofers um, just with pretty much one Facebook campaign, which is like crazy. And this is during winter as well. Winter is like the worst period of time um, to get jobs and to you know get jobs done as well. So um, yeah, in, in summer, it goes absolutely crazy. And, and Facebook, the fact that Facebook is able to generate enough leads to keep four roofers busy um, year round is like just crazy. Well, we could definitely have a discussion about the winter as you get there in Australia compared to uh, Canada up here, but that's <laughs> yes, maybe, nothing. Nothing compared to Canada. Maybe some for another time. You wouldn't be <laughs> you wouldn't be doing any uh, roofing in the winters here. But yeah, okay, no chance. so you, I haven't told you this yet. Um, okay. We developed a new system for our own lead gen, and I want to just get kind of your honest reaction, just your honest kind of yep. whatever. See what you think about it. So. This is our exclusive lead system, and I'm kind of going to go step by step and explain exactly what we're doing for financial advisors. Um, you obviously, you've had a lot of experience running leads yourself um, and doing leads for a lot of other people. So, you know, lead gen probably better than I do, I would even argue. Uh, not sure about that now. <laughs> maybe, for, maybe for roofers, maybe for roofers. I'm not sure about anything else. <laughs> but let's see. Let's see. I'll just, I'll throw this off your head and see what you think about it. So, cool. our exclusive lead system, the way that we have it set up, uh, we're generating leads through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, right? So from there, what we do is we actually take those leads and we're not really focused so much more on generating leads nowadays as we are actually booking appointments. So the goal is to get 20 to 30 appointments a month, right? So we're generating leads through th three pro platforms. That way, if Facebook or Instagram goes down and the account gets shut down because that happens all the time, that way, we're still getting leads coming off of TikTok or vice versa. If we get TikTok shut down, leads are still coming from Facebook. So we can still yeah. kind of ensure that, you know, we're getting enough leads to book meetings. Now, from yeah. there, every lead gets sent an automatic email campaign. So they get shot through an email campaign. Any old leads that the financial advisors have in their list, those are also shot um, a reactivation campaign. So those will start generating meetings right off the bat. All of those different emails have links to calendars, stuff like that. All the copy is custom written to each individual financial advisor. On top of that, they also get sent weekly text campaigns. So everybody who comes through the, lead, the leads through Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, from Sunday to Saturday, the next Monday, all of those guys get a text. And as you know, Clavio has a very insane, it's like, I think a 90% open rate on a text or something like that. And then on top of that, what we found we were doing that was really successful for us was we would go through our lead pool and we would just call leads that we had in the pool that hadn't responded to us and set them yeah. up on an appointment over the phone. We have designated appointment setters who are trained to represent the financial advisor that's our client. They're hopping on the phone. They're setting the appointment on the phone. So they're literally on the phone with the lead. They set them up on an appointment. They pull up the calendar. They put everything in. And then they're also trained to kind of make it smoother so that there's when the financial advisor gets on a sales call, it's a, you know, a frictionless process where it's not like, oh, why did I talk to, you know, this guy? And now I'm talking to you. They've been kind of trained through the scripts and different stuff that we have to make sure that that's not an issue. On top of that, um, we also get 95% of the benefit of being on TikTok with only 5% of the work. The way that we do that, because I think it's very, very important to be on TikTok. I've recorded many, many videos. I think you know how important TikTok is nowadays. Um, the way that we do this is, so imagine, you know, you're doing TikTok organically, right? And you post 10 videos in a week and they get 500 views. So you get 5,000 views over the span of 10 videos, right? Now, what if you were to record one high quality video, pay TikTok a small fee, get that same amount of reach that the person who's doing it organically is getting for that fee. And then you also get to add a lead form on top of it. So anybody who's interested can fill out that lead form. 
Now, successful TikTok videos that blow up on TikTok organically, we also take those and make them into viral paid ads, which make the lead costs go lower down. Plus, the longer that leads stay in the pool, the more leads we have to remarket to and the more meetings we can set per month. So it kind of creates this flywheel effect within the system where the longer you stay in, the more kind of results you can get out of that. So that's the system that we have set up. I kind of want to get your thoughts on that and what you think. I like that, man. I, I haven't really thought about the the TikTok strategy, if I'm going to be honest. Um, is that is that going to work with is that working with financial advisors? Hundred percent. And the reason why it's working so well is we're we've actually developed like because a lot of people what we noticed in the beginning was they didn't know how to do TikTok to begin with. So yeah. I should have actually mentioned this earlier. The reason it's only 5% of the work for them to get on TikTok, we send them like scripts and templates for every single video that they're ever going to do. So they're only posting once a week because the TikTok account has to kind of stay active, right? But, you know, if they see the last video was six days ago, that's still active enough, right? So we send them, a, we send them the scripts and then we also edit the video. So they really only need to record a one minute video and then, I mean, you do this every week and you're you're basically getting to split test four videos every single month. And one of them is bound to at least do better than the others. So you can see yeah. what happens to be good at really quickly for just, just from that. And then they're all do the you ever ideas. Get any, do you ever get any financial advisors being like, no, I don't want to make TikToks? A couple of times we've had a few people that have been like that, but then we kind of show them the, the importance of like actually being on the platform. And that's when yeah. it start like once we kind of show the results and once we generally explain the whole system there isn't a whole lot of pushback okay interesting interesting yeah that's, that sounds like a good strategy man i like how you kind of like integrated everything and that whole um like everything to do with remarketing i mean it's interesting because i was talking to a customer yesterday um about you know just marketing and even after we sold them they, they're like Yo, I see your 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 face everywhere. Like you're absolutely everywhere. So like, yeah, it, it worked really really well for. And we haven't done our remarketing strategy probably because obviously he's bought you know our product and he's still getting our ads. But if you you know if you're marketing to people who haven't bought your product and you know that person is seeing your face everywhere, then eventually you know they they could potentially be a uh, prospect. So yeah, I uh, I like how you kind of integrated everything because we're just doing Facebook. So the fact that you're doing Facebook with emails with TikToks, um, that that's just crazy, man. Is there anything else, or is, is that the, the three kind of main? That's that's ways? what we've got going on now. So I guess the question that I'm trying to ask: Do yeah. you think that's a system that can book people twenty to thirty meetings a month? Twenty to thirty meetings. Yeah, that seems like a lot, man. Um, I don't know. See, the, with Facebook, I. I mean, it also depends on budget, right? But yeah, if they have right. the budget, so, yeah, for no, it, okay. the, I should, I should, uh, I should explain on that. I'll, I'll kind of get into more of the budgeting details on that. Okay. But yeah, we're spending quite a lot just even on our own for for doing that. So yeah, this isn't off like a thousand dollars of spend. There is a little bit more spend that's going out there. Yeah, yeah, I would say yeah, depending on the budget, we're, we're generating budget. about we're generating about two hundred leads a month per campaign. Okay. Just that's, on Facebook, right? just on. That's just, yeah. I would I would definitely say it's possible, man. Yeah. Awesome. Sounds like a good strategy as well. Yeah, I mean, it's been working for us pretty well so far. So I'm excited yeah. to get get it really kind of cranking it out there to everyone else. But yeah, that's uh, sick, man. Might have to might have to get you to handle the TikTok and email side of our our roofing business. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Maybe come up with some uh, copy. That's the one thing I might be better at you at is copywriting. But other than that, yeah. I don't know anything else. But anyways, man, <laughs> thanks so much. Really appreciate uh, you coming along and being able to talk to you. It's been a while since we've caught up. So uh, yeah, man, good to see you. Kwabi, it looks like we got the co-sign from him on the exclusive lead system. And this is my <laughs> old mentor. It's great to have him on. Peace.